much like Governor Christie, he says, I'm not a bully, you know, but these are the people that we have elected to represent us, or at least there's the illusion that we've elected them to represent us. I'm sure that uh, that whole democratic system is rigged. But do you think that Governor Christie is going to be any different is, if he is given the most powerful seat in America? Now, he's on the apology campaign currently, and he's saying he's not a bully. He didn't know that his top aides shut down a New Jersey bridge for four days that some 300,000 people used to get to New York. Now, some are saying that his scandal has shut the door to the White House. Jay Leno, however, has said that uh, Christie denying everything makes him look even more presidential. <laughs> and clearly, that's what Obama's entire administration has been really good at, denying things, um, changing the story, or pleading the fifth when their lies finally catch up with them. And we just continue to sit here and watch all of this tyranny rain down on us. And it is absolutely time for us to call these people out like it is. And breaking here at Infowars.com, we are going to call out Christy right now because we have exclusive footage of him calling for that bridge to be shut down. But I don't want any of you to confuse what I'm saying this morning. Ultimately, I am responsible. But I also know that I have a job to do. And it's the job that I've asked the people of New Jersey to entrust me with. And I can never allow personal feelings to get in the way of doing my job the way it's appropriate to do it. My plan! He really does look like that guy, like a little troll that lives under the bridge. Well, the Wall Street Journal says that compared to using the IRS to target political opponents like the Obama administration did, compared to that, this whole bridge gate thing and closing traffic lanes for four days is jaywalking. But it's still something to think about when considering Christie for a presidential run. He either clearly can't control his staff, which in turn means can he control the country, or he just doesn't mind playing dirty games in order to get his way. And we don't need anyone else like that in office because we've already seen how that goes. Man, shutting down a bridge is just one of the powerful things presidents have at their disposal to intimidate people into compliance. They've got the IRS, the NSA, and the TSA. And now a Russian celebrity claims that she was stripped naked by the TSA at Miami International Airport. She got to experience our tyranny firsthand. She says that after TSA workers wrongly detected explosives on her fingers, the 32-year-old television presenter says a large black woman performed a pervy strip search on her, which she regarded as a sexual act. Now, Sobchak said that she had a spa massage with jojoba oil mixed with glycerin before bo boarding her flight that might have triggered the airport's security equipment. She said she was told that this sort of thing happens two or three times a day at the airport. So can you believe it? They are strip searching people at the Miami airport several times a day. Remind me not to fly in or out of that place. So here we see the TSA's invasive security procedures getting way out of hand as if them sticking their gropey hands down your pants wasn't enough. Then we find out they're criminals and pedophiles. And that's why we have had enough here at Infowars.com to we've launched our latest film contest. It's closed now. We'll be announcing the winner soon. But here is one of those submissions in bed with the NSA. Hey buddy, it's Tim calling from the NSA. Oh hey, what's up? Well, I was assigned to your webcam feed tonight, and I noticed you're having a little bit of trouble getting things going in the old bedroom. Yeah... You know, your neighbor Paul down the street was having the same problem a couple of months ago with his wife. He runs out and buys that new Kama Sutra book, and let me tell you, things are getting hot! His wife's absolutely loving it, and they're already on position 23! Really? Yeah, 
And let's face it, your wife's a pretty adventurous woman herself. I mean, she had no trouble a couple of weeks ago trying a few things on her own when you were out of town, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, look, we gotta factor you back into the equation. Really get you back into the game. That sounds great to me, man. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. I'm going to try that. I know you will, John. Go get him, champ! And again, we will be announcing the winner to that contest soon. The InfoWars crew absolutely loves coffee because we love being awake. And I am somewhat of a connoisseur of coffee. So many times you go to a restaurant or even to a coffee shop and the coffee tastes like garbage. And in all the different coffees I've tried, my favorite is grown in the high mountains, in shade, Arabica on the border with Guatemala in southern Mexico by the Chiapas farmers. I make sure we've done the research. I make sure it's the very best product that we can offer you when I put my name on it. And I believe, and it's my taste, so you may differ, that this is the best coffee in the world from southern Mexico. Wake Up America Patriot Blend, 100% organic, Arabica shade grown. And then we have the Immune Support 100% organic coffee infused with a special type of mushroom known to boost the immunity. This coffee is seriously so smooth. I normally have to douse my coffee with cream and sugar and cinnamon and all kinds of tasty treats, but this, I drink this black. It is so good. Well, that's why I like it, is that it has a kick. It has really good caffeine in it. It has a good, clean wake-up that lasts for a long time. Doesn't give me a headache, but it's so smooth. It's so delicious. Just try it out for yourself. I'm telling you, this is my favorite coffee. We went through a lot of trouble to bring you this. Just try it, and I think you'll be hooked like we are here at InfoWars. Well, folks, find out for yourself and support the information war today. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.